Hi there, Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. Today we're looking at my Ficus retusa. This was my very first bonsai tree. It just sprouted from the soil in my poinsettia plant and uh, it's grown ever since. So this tree's 21 years old and uh, well let's go have a look at some of the features of it. So I'll zoom in. Um, so it's got a a nice tapered trunk. Uh, it's got some good surface roots, and it's got a nice smooth trunk. So what I envision for this tree is because it has a nice smooth trunk, I'm looking for a nice smooth transition into the soil. So I want my roots to come down into the soil and just sort of blend nicely. Um, this tree was originally growing over a rock and it was a fairly large rock and I got tired of carting around this big heavy tree. Uh, whenever you put rocks in a planting it really makes them heavy. And uh, the rock wasn't really adding to anything to the design of the tree or the style of it. It just, I don't know, didn't work. So I, I removed the rock last time I repotted this and uh, I like it better without the rock. Uh, when the tree was younger I planted uh, some cuttings from it. Well I didn't plant the cutting. I, I placed some cuttings that had rooted around the tree to make sort of a forest and uh, that idea is just not working. Uh, if you look at it from back here, it, uh, I don't know, they compete with the main tree. I, I think the, my original tree is strong enough now that it can stand on its own. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to repot it and probably into a smaller pot and I'm going to remove all those, uh, cuttings or small trees around it so we'll just have the tree by itself and the uh, the smaller trees that are around it are growing I'll come around the back here they're growing on top of the roots of the original tree and you can see some of them are quite heavy here and you know it's they've probably fused with the original roots so I'm not thinking it's going to be really easy to do this uh, it's probably going to take a lot of prying and yeah we'll see so let's get to work on this tree the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the moss from around the base of the tree this tree has been in the greenhouse and it's growing well quite strongly and so is the moss it just loves being in the greenhouse I guess so we're gonna peel all this moss off as our first step for repotting that's the moss and we'll just I don't think we'll reuse it but we'll keep it just in case we decide to prune it up trim the moss down shorter and replant it but I found in the greenhouse the moss just uh, tends to grow almost everywhere. It's uh, almost an impossibility to keep moss off the trees. So that's, you know, it's a good thing. It'll just regrow by itself or uh, I could replant it if I wanted to. Okay, so I've removed uh, most of the moss from the surfaces of the, uh, the planting. And uh, you can see some of the roots are quite fused from this small tree to this large one. So it's going to be a difficult task to remove all these trees. It's going to require some uh, pretty good surgery. Um, so what I see is, you know, eventually having the soil line about here on the main tree. So a lot of these thicker roots are probably going to get 
cut quite severely at the soil, just below the soil line and it'll be sort of treated as a large cutting and we'll have to regrow a lot of all our surface roots keeping the main uh, we'll keep as much of the buttressing surface roots as we can but we don't want them continuing with this thickness we want to cut them off and then start some finer secondary roots and so on as we ramify the roots out in the new pot so we're gonna start uh, I think before we lift the tree out I think we're gonna try and remove some of the smaller trees growing around it so here we go so these trees they're they're pretty solid with the original tree um, I don't think it's gonna be able to I don't think we're going to be able to pry them out or anything. It's going to require cutting. So we're going to have to go in and cut that with a saw. I think it's the only way. And then we'll try and save as much root from the original trees as possible. And then we'll pot those again in a smaller pot. So let's get out the saw and we'll do what we can here. Okay, so we're going to have to cut through these roots. Um, we have to pick a level that we want to cut the roots at. So we're going to plant it in a fairly shallow pot and encourage the roots, not encourage, but force them to grow in a radial pattern because the pot will be shallow. Uh, if the tree was outside, I wouldn't put it in a shallow pot because when a shallow pot, you you water it, and there's so much surface area that it dries out very quickly on top. And because the pot's shallow, you don't get much uh, hydraulic action with the water. Uh, if you have a deep pot and you water it, the weight of the water makes it drain quickly. But when it's in a shallow pot, you water it, and it tends to sit in the pot. It doesn't drain like... Uh, a deep pot does. You can, you know, after you water you can tip it up and get all the excess water to drain out, but you'll find it dries out too quickly on top and stays too moist in the bottom with a shallow pot. So, But because this tree is going to be in the greenhouse where it's humid, the shallow pots work quite well I found. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it in a shallow pot and we're going to have to cut through these roots. So I'm going to pick a, a line here, which I think I said was going to be about here. Now, you can always cut a little deeper than you want, and then we can trim the roots back later. So let's, let's go here. Um, so we're going to make our line. Now, this is a you know, a fairly severe surgery. So you want to do it at the right time of the year. And right now it's, you know, early July. The tree's gonna grow really well for all of July, August, and probably a lot of September. We're gonna have nice warm weather. So it's a good time of the year to do it. tough roots here. This probably isn't the greatest saw to be using for it, but uh, we've got some of the roots cut. Um, I think I'm gonna get a bigger saw. Yep, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I've got a scroll saw, which is used for cutting out scrolls on violins. And it, it works pretty well a lot better than that little one. So we're cutting and cutting. Okay, so I've sawed deep enough that I think we can remove this first tree. So we'll just try peeling it off. There we go. And uh, so we'll, we'll plant that as a cutting. 
and uh, it'll get some nice radial roots and we'll make a fine little tree. So we're continuing our work here. Um, we've got this tree almost separated. We've cut through a lot of it. We've got this tree out and we're working on cutting through this part. Okay, we're just about cut through here. We're just uh, in a final trim and get that first. Okay, there's that part of the tree removed. You can see our woody cuts. Um, those will heal over. We want to keep them a little drier when it's in the pot and keep the humidity up. So we're going to take that tree out and we're going to try and remove this one also, which is kind of tangled in there, but we'll get it out. And we'll see what we have left. There it goes. Okay, there's that tree out. And here's what's left of our original tree. So we'll clean the soil away and see what further cutting we have to do. So, with this tree, because it's a, a nice smooth trunk transitioning up into the branches, we don't want a gnarly root base. We want it clean and smooth. So, what we want to do is get rid of any roots that aren't, you know, going to make a smooth transition into the ground. So, these one, this one at the side here, we, we want to cut that off so it's going to blend into the soil nicely. So we'll take a horizontal cut, just like that, there we go, and this one also. There we go, like that, and then some of these back ones, they're a little long. So here's our soil line, we want to cut them off. And the big one, I think we'll have to use the saw for that. Okay, we've, uh, we've trimmed the roots now. So they're pretty flat and simple. Uh, we do have a great big root at the back here. And that will be removed someday. Uh, when we get our feeder roots growing again. So we're going to leave that for now. And uh, that's about it. We're going to plant it now. Okay, so I've got the uh, new pot prepared for planting. Um, when you're planting a tree in a pot, uh, one thing to look for is Every pot has a front and back, just like your tree has a front and back. Um, things to look for in picking the front of your pot is blemishes in the glaze or in the clay surface. If it has like pinholes or something like that, you might want to turn those towards the back of the pot and show the best side of the pot off. You can look at the feet, how they're made. Uh, how the glaze comes down on the feet. You want to pick, you know, the best side of the pot as the front of your of your bonsai. So that's one thing to look for. So the next step is to uh, actually plant the tree. So um, because we don't have much root mass at all, uh, we've got to hold the tree down in the pot somehow. So we could place the tree in the pot and pile the soil up really high and it would probably stay there until the new roots grow. So um, we're going to try that 
because the trees in the greenhouse it's not getting you know high winds to blow it over or anything uh, so we'll see how stable it is in the pot and we can always place rocks on the surface near the roots to hold it down until the new roots start to grow so let's do that now here's our tree now a tree that's symmetrical like this and a, with a straight trunk you want to place it in the middle of the pot now every book and everything I'll tell you oh nothing can be right on center it has to be either left or right front to back which is true if you have some asymmetry in your tree if you have a little more foliage on this side you want to counterbalance it by you know offsetting it a bit to give more of a balanced look but because this tree is very symmetrical uh, we want to put it in the pot in the middle and we'll have a symmetrical tree uh, and there's there's no rule that says that's wrong now we don't really have any roots to comb out so we're gonna place the tree in the pot now I put a very shallow layer of soil on the pot so it's basically going to be sitting down on the bottom of the pot and we're gonna start adding our soil around You just want to check you are in the center of the pot. I'm actually off a little. I'm going to shift it over a bit. Yeah, the center of my pot is about there. Yeah, that looks good. That's about the right position. And yeah, we're about on the center. And you can see the tree is. It sits up by itself. So it's, you know, even though it doesn't have a lot of roots, it's fairly stable in the pot because it does have the flat bottom. So we're going to pile our soil up. Now these flat pots, it's kind of an illusion. They do take a lot of soil to fill the pot. I think I'm on my like fourth container, no fifth container of this. So even though they're a shallow pot, they still hold quite a bit of soil. And when putting the soil in, you want the soil level even with the edge of the pot you don't really want to mound it up and if we do mound it up it'll just be a temporary thing until the roots start growing again and then we'll remove the soil from the top we're after a nice flat look to the soil with the tree coming up out of the soil so we're getting there we're almost uh, almost there See, we're a little low over here. Now we, I have mounted it up in the middle just uh, just to help hold the tree in for now. Like I said, we can remove soil later on. To establish our flat, flat ground plane in the pot. Now, so there we are. So um, the next thing, before you know, you put it away to grow the roots, let's just make sure it is in the right position of the pot. We'll check it sideways, make sure it's growing vertically. Looks good, it is growing vertically. Check it from the front. Uh, it's on a bit of a, a bit of a slant. So we wanna fix that. So we'll just straighten it out a bit like that and then we'll we pack our, our soil down there. That's good. That's nice and vertical. And then you want to water the tree. So um, 
after we water it, because when you water the tree, it could settle the soil down. So we'll water it and then we'll check the tree's position again. So again, you don't want to, you know, you can water in stages. You can tell this is new soil because it's draining really nice, nicely. It's not pooling on top of the soil. And the books always tell you to water a newly planted tree until the water that's coming out of the drainage holes in the bottom of the pot runs clear. So it is doing that now. So what that's effectively done is washed out all the fine soil particles. And we also want to miss the top of the tree. Okay. So again, we'll check the position of the tree in the pot. It is still vertical. That's good. On the side, it is also vertical. So yeah, there's our position in the pot. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to give it a light trimming just to reduce the foliage a bit because, you know, we've reduced the roots a lot. So we're going to take off some of our tips. Not a whole lot, but some. Okay. So again, if this tree was going to be left outside on the bench, you would definitely want to secure the tree in the pot with some wire or sometimes they put a piece of plywood underneath and put a screw right up into the trunk to hold it in place. But because this is going to be in the greenhouse and it's not going to get a lot of wind blowing it, uh, it should grow fine in the pot as it is. So our last job is just to put it back in the greenhouse and let the new root system start to grow. Uh, from these root, from the from the cuts in the roots, we're probably going to get like a mat of fine roots coming out um, when we repot it next time. What you want to do is sort those roots out so instead of 10 roots coming out of one point you want to split it into two so it's like your branches you want one root going to two two roots going to four four roots going to eight and so on until you get a fine ramification of roots okay That's it. That's uh, our operation done. Um, it's a pretty severe process of what I just did. And uh, I'm doing it at the right time of the year. Um, I'm going to take good aftercare of the tree. It's going to be kept very humid. Um, it's got good soil in the pot. It's going to be, you know, carefully looked at. So. The chances of it surviving this operation are 
really good. Um, I don't really have any fear that we're going to lose the tree. And uh, yeah, it, it's something you kind of gain with experience is confidence. Um, now, when you do get confidence to do things like this, uh, sometimes it does come back and bite you. Um, and you say, whoa, sometimes the odd tree will die from an operation like this. But uh, we're hoping for the best and we'll keep you updated on the progress of this tree. So here we are, major surgery on my very first bonsai tree. It's 21 years old. Let's hope it's, <laughs> Let's hope it sees its next birthday. So Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai, we'll see you next time, bye.